I have something very interesting to share with you regarding trimmers. I found something that's quite fascinating. A lot of times trimmers are misdiagnosed with Parkinson's when you don't necessarily have to have Parkinson's to have trimmers. There's a type of trimmer called essential trimmer which is more progressive into a bigger problem over time and that's aggravated when you move versus a resting trimmer which you are resting and you are having this trimmer going on and I want to share with you if you take high doses of vitamin B2 and high doses of coenzyme Q10 apparently you can improve this symptom greatly but in this document I could not found the mechanism of why that would help someone so that was just the start of my research in this area and I did a whole deep dive into it and I found something even more interesting. I found the mechanism of why these two nutrients would work and what amount you would need to take to create a positive effect. There's a strong correlation between mitochondrial diseases. Okay, let's understand mitochondria. It is the energy house of the body and movement disorders. See, your nervous system requires a tremendous amount of energy. So, it needs very healthy mitochondria and when someone has neurodegenerative disorders or pathologies or anything related to that, they are usually going to have a dysfunction in the mitochondria. And so, the question is what does vitamin B2 and coenzyme Q10 have to do with the mitochondria? Well. A lot of the mitochondria are all about turning food into energy ATP. ATP is like a battery in the process of breaking down food into energy. There's a compound like carrier thing on the assembly line that extracts energy out of food. It extracts electrons. It helps carry electrons through this assembly line. And so both coenzyme Q10 and B2 essential for the carrier of electrons. The name of the carrier of this is called FAD. Well, what's interesting about FAD is like there's not a lot of people talking about FAD but there are a lot of people talking about NAD. You can even get that as a supplement and that helps the mitochondria work better. It's good for anti-aging, it's good for fixing the mitochondria, it's good for giving you energy, it's good for a lot of things and people take NAD all the time and the precursor for this is vitamin B3. But this FAD needs vitamin B2 and then if you look deeper into it, what vitamin B2 really does other than help the mitochondria work better. It has everything to do with supporting fatty acids, the membrane around the nervous system called the myelin sheath. And when people are grossly deficient in B2, they have all sorts of neurodegenerative problems. They have neuropathologies, they have swelling in the nervous system. They start losing the myelin sheath around the nervous system. Another condition called as multiple sclerosis, MS. They can have exaggerated reflexes and they can also have dementia. Now, if you have ever heard of a B2 deficiency and like what it creates, a lot of time people might associate like taking B2 for migraine headaches and stuff like that. But anything neurological would be another reason to take it. B2 acts as a precursor to help protect the mitochondria. That is why vitamin B2 is necessary to help correct tremors. Now, what about coenzyme Q10? Well, coenzyme Q10 does the same thing. It helps to transport these electrons. It helps you build the battery. It helps more energy in the mitochondria. But when someone actually takes something like statins, which is something that blocks cholesterol, they are going to be deficient in coenzyme Q10 and they are going to have all sorts of neurological and muscular symptoms because of it. So if someone is on a statin, they should better take coenzyme Q10 because if they don't, they are going to have a lot of side effects. But what I did is I did a deep dive into all the side effects from statin and take a wild guess what are the symptoms I found from taking statins. It is tremors. What I want to try and then after you try this, go ahead and comment down below and tell me how it worked out. We are going to take high amounts of vitamin B2. I would recommend you take about 800 milligrams per day. Split into two portions, 400 milligrams in the morning and 400 before you go to sleep. What about coenzyme Q10? I recommend taking higher amounts of that as well. You want 1000 milligrams per day, maybe take 500 in the morning and 500 in the afternoon. These two supplements help prevent tremors 
and benefit you in neurodegenerative disorders. Well, Bharat homeopathic medicines alongside supplements can do wonders for your neurological conditions. Bharat homeopathic medicines are safe, effective and bring result in neurological disorders in the shortest possible time. Well, we offer you personalized and customized treatment tailored to your disease condition and symptoms. If you or your loved one has any neurological problem, then no worries. We are here to help you out. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the Bharat Homeopathy YouTube channel for health related updates. Thank you.